I'd say most of us are pretty busy these days, right? But we all have those weeks that are just especially bonkers. Do you know what I'm saying? I happen to be living in one as we speak. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to share with you 10 food hacks for super busy weeks. Actually, it might just be seven or eight or nine. I don't know. I don't even have time to count. If you are not utilizing grocery pickup or grocery delivery, now is the time. I just got back from a trip to California and while I was in the airport still, I actually had my Walmart app open on my phone and I was putting stuff into my Walmart cart so that I could place a grocery order as soon as possible. In my area, Walmart grocery pickup is free, but I actually paid for a Walmart Plus membership so that I could also have the option occasionally of having groceries delivered right to my doorstep. It was $98 for an entire year and here's why I think that is completely worth it. It comes out to only about $8 a month when all is said and done. If having groceries delivered to my house actually keeps me from going through the drive through or picking up takeout even just four to five times a year, then it has basically paid for itself because I can almost guarantee you that whatever I'm putting in my grocery cart that I'm going to use to make meals, even simple things like soup and salads and sandwiches, that is going to be a lot cheaper than having to pay for takeout because I was unprepared with not enough food in my house. Even with a small delivery fee with services like Uber Eats or Instacart or even with that Walmart Plus membership, those things are worth every penny because I can take out my phone or open up my computer any time of day from anywhere and place an order for food, especially items that we use frequently and have it delivered right to my doorstep. I don't have to go to the store and go up and down every aisle, putting things in my cart, check myself out at self-checkout because let's face it, that's the direction that a lot of grocery stores are going. I don't even have to drive to the store. Another super helpful thing for me whenever I am facing busy weeks and really starting to get a little bit anxious about what we are going to eat and how I'm going to prepare food is to have an arsenal of go-to family favorite recipes. Speaking of busy, the dryer's done, y'all. <laughs> okay, I'm back. What was I talking about? An arsenal of super easy family favorite recipes, including super fast recipes, recipes that involve a limited number of ingredients, a couple of go-to crock pot recipes for those days when I really have no time and need to get it going in the morning. This is not the kind of week when I want to be spending a lot of time perusing <laughs> all of the cookbooks that I have or scrolling through Pinterest looking for new ideas. I want to go with what works. I have a binder where I have printed out recipes that my family really likes and sometimes a quick flip through this shows me something maybe that we haven't had in a while that I have the ingredients for, or a lot of times just off the top of my head, I know those few things that really work for my family. They're recipes that I always have the ingredients for and that are really quick for me to throw together. It's important for me to be realistic. Obviously the busy weeks are not the time whenever I'm going to want to make egg noodles from scratch. <laughs> this is not the time whenever I'm gonna wanna try a new recipe that I'm not as familiar with probably, and it's not the time whenever I'm going to want to to attempt those meals that take several hours to prepare. This next one's gonna sound a little odd, but just hear me out. Don't just eat crap. <laughs> and I'm speaking to myself as much as anybody else, but on super busy weeks, it is just as important, if not more important, that I balance my nutrition. If I am going through the drive through line, if I am getting takeout every night, if I am not taking care to get some fruits and vegetables and some whole grains into my diet, then it is just going to make matters worse. I'm going to feel horrible at the end of the week. But on super busy weeks, it's probably going to be vegetables from a can or vegetables from the freezer or applesauce pouches or pre-chopped fruit or any number of things that are super convenient that still allow me to get that kind of nutrition into my diet. These bagged salad kits are really convenient, especially the chopped salad ones I know are really popular and we really like them. These are so convenient for a busy week, but I always find that there's way more dressing and toppings that I need. So to stretch this, especially if I want everybody to get to have some, I will buy a bag of just plain lettuce or cabbage. Like since this one's mostly cabbage, I got some iceberg lettuce to go with it and I will combine 
find this and maybe even chop up a few other vegetables like maybe some carrots or some cucumbers or maybe some red or yellow or orange peppers to throw into the salad to kind of bulk up this salad kit. The other thing I will do in a super busy week to fit vegetables into our day is just pick up one of these prepared veggie trays, one or two of them. Sometimes I'll even find them on clearance, they're short dated, and I'll just get it out at dinner time and set it on the counter and everybody can kind of get their veggie fix and their veggie servings from that. Easy peasy. All I'm saying is I try to find a way on the super busy weeks to do the things that make my body feel good, which include eating my vegetables and going for a walk, drinking my water and taking my vitamins. And since I mentioned vitamins, Care Of is sponsoring today's video and talk about making, taking my vitamins super easy, even on a busy week. Care Of has an insane introductory offer for my viewers today. They're offering half off your first order, but put a pin in that, we'll come back to it. Even in the busiest of weeks, sticking to a manageable self-care routine is important to me. Care Of helps me make this happen. They are a subscription service that delivers high quality, personalized vitamins, supplements, and powders right to your doorstep. Everything is catered specifically to their customers. It's not a one size fits all type of vitamin. You actually go to their website and you take a quiz and they identify some of your goals and the things that you are looking for. And they put together a personalized recommendation for the vitamins and supplements that they think would be best for you. One of the things I indicated in my quiz that I'm working on is improving the quality of my sleep. So Care Of recommended the sleep supplement to take close to bedtime. For 50% off your first Care Of order, go to takecareof.com and enter the code MINDY50. Again, you can visit the link in the description box below or you can go to takecareof.com and enter the code MINDY50 for 50% half off your first order with Care Of. One of the things I love about the Care of Vitamin Packs are all of the little quotes and questions and the challenges that are on each individual package. Today's is text someone today and use a new emoji, one you've never used before. To Jen Chapin, as in life, the true meaning of this text will reveal itself in due time. Surfer chick emoji. <gasps> She's gonna be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you again to Care Up for sponsoring today's video and for that very generous offer. Don't forget, visit the link in the description box below or go to takecareof.com. Use the code MINDY50 for 50% off your first order with Care Of. Hello and welcome to my refrigerator. I just took a few minutes to straighten things up in here. I just wanted to make sure that lunch packing items that the kids use frequently are visible and I take stock of maybe things that I have on hand that I'd like to use up like produce or dairy items. It doesn't take me very long at all. Which leads me to my next point which is about making sure that your spaces are organized. With all of the social media accounts, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube channels, not to mention television shows and books, that are devoted to organization, I feel like the secret is out. That the way that we organize our spaces can contribute to our overall mental and emotional health and to our productivity. I know I, for one, feel overwhelmed and I am definitely less productive in a cluttered space. And it is very true where my kitchen is concerned. Now, this doesn't have to be a big giant production and you don't need to run out to the store or get on Amazon and buy a whole bunch of expensive clear containers or whatever it is that people are doing these days. I have shown you guys around my pantry, fridge, and freezer many times. I use some containers that I've had for several years that I actually purchased at Dollar Tree or whatever other containers I can repurpose from around the house. And you don't have to spend a bunch of time. I mean, we're talking about saving time anyway. I can set my timer for about 10 minutes, maybe before the beginning of a start of a busy week, and I just spend 10 minutes kind of straightening things up. If there's anything that needs to be tossed because it's outdated or it's spoiled, I make sure that my pantry is organized in such a way so that I can see all of the ingredients that I have available to me and frequently used items. And before I know it, I have a relatively organized food space. It really only takes me a couple of minutes of intentionality each week to have relatively organized food spaces, which makes it so much easier to prepare food, especially across a super busy week. I am working on making dinner for tonight and it's a good opportunity to talk about my next point, which is take the shortcut. The other night we had canned soup and grilled cheese sandwiches for dinner and my kids were absolutely delighted. Tonight we are having this for dinner and I even bought the twin pack so that I can double up on it. I have 
entire videos and even recipes within other videos that center around this concept of semi-homemade cooking, where you start with a convenience item or with you know a shortcut item, and maybe you add a few other things to it to make a complete meal for your family. In my opinion, it's always a great time for a semi-homemade meal, but busy weeks especially make great times for semi-homemade meals. I even recently did a video where I just walked around the grocery store and pointed out some of my very favorite shortcut items. I'll leave that one linked in the description box below. I always put some extra stuff in these hamburger helper mixes just to kind of jazz it up a little bit. And tonight I'll definitely be adding a little bit of sour cream to this one since I'm using the stroganoff. I could add some mushrooms to that if mushrooms weren't absolutely one of the most disgusting things on the face of the planet. Nobody in this household likes them. Well, actually, I don't know. Maybe my husband likes them, but you know what? I'm the person whose opinion matters most right now because I'm the one who's preparing the meal. And there will be no mushrooms in it. And no, I have not forgotten my previous point about eating our veggies. That is why I am throwing some frozen steam in the bag broccoli into the microwave as we speak. This next one is very difficult for me because I am a total control freak, but it is to delegate. If you live with other people in your household, is there somebody else who can help prepare meals? Is there somebody else who can be kind of like a sous chef and maybe help chop the, the veggies or put the salad together at dinner time? Is there somebody else who can pick up the grocery order or who can even do the grocery shopping if you hand them a list? There has never been a better time to teach your kids how to pack their own lunches and take that obligation off of your plate. With my kids, it was just, here's how you make a turkey sandwich. And here's where I keep the yogurt tubes in the refrigerator. Grab an applesauce pouch from the bin in the pantry. And maybe I spend a few extra dollars on the pre-packaged snack crackers or chips. And that's something then that I don't have to do for them, that they can do for me, that gives me a few minutes back in my busy week where the food prep is concerned. A few videos back, I showed you guys how I was refilling my emergency meals then in my pantry. This kind of thing also comes in handy for delegating the cooking responsibility to somebody else because I have several meals in a bag in this particular bin down here. And so all they would need to do is take the ingredients in each bag and follow the directions that are in here as well. And somebody else in the household could then prepare a meal from the options that I have in this bin. And a quick addendum to this conversation about delegating responsibility akin to delegating is asking for help and accepting it when it's offered. We are actually running out the door to church activities. It's Wednesday. My whole family will be at the church all evening and they are offering a free, F-R-E-E, -E, meal tonight at the church, a home-cooked meal for free. Even if I had to pay for it, I probably would on a week like this one. This one takes a little bit of intentionality and it's asking ourselves the question, what can we do when we aren't busy? And by that, I mean, hopefully every week is not you know, a survival mode week. If it is, then obviously I've got some different kinds of questions to ask myself about my life. But for the most part, the super busy weeks, whenever I need these kinds of food hacks, they come and they go. There are other times I have a little bit of extra time and during those weeks or during those weekends or that surprise afternoon where I find myself with a few extra hours, that's the time when I want to maybe think about putting together a few freezer meals, working on my emergency meals bin in my pantry, which would make it easy for other people to make a meal for me on weeks when I have to delegate that responsibility. Maybe I know a busy week is coming up, but I have time over the weekend to do a little bit of meal prepping or to prep my lunches or to make sure that I've got that grocery order put in. Basically, the times whenever I feel a little bit of wiggle room, maybe taking 10, 20 minutes, a couple of hours one day to kind of work on some of the things that I've mentioned and actually make it possible to do <laughs> some of the food hacks that I've mentioned already because I've already done the legwork ahead of time to implement them. Another thing I try to keep in mind during super busy weeks is how I can cook once and eat twice. You are sitting in my microwave right now because in this household, we try to eat leftovers. There are some recipes I make, things like spaghetti sauce or maybe casseroles or sometimes shredded meats in the crock pot where it's really easy to double the recipe or to make extra so that I can use it in a variety of ways. The leftover taco meat I can maybe use to make omelets the next day or salads, the leftover roast 
roast beef that I made in the crock pot the previous night. I can turn into sandwiches the next day. Right now, I actually have chili going in the crock pot and I decided to make chili, well, because it's delicious and actually it's my dad's recipe and you will be seeing that in another video but also because we can have it tonight but tomorrow is Halloween so I figured that using the leftover chili to make Frito chili pies tomorrow night for a quick pre trick-or-treat dinner would be something I would thank myself for in the future Thank you again to Care Up for sponsoring today's video and for that very generous offer. Don't forget, visit the link in the description box below or go to TakeCareOf.com. Use the code MINDY50 for 50% off your first order with Care Up.